Hello there, welcome to Ms. Red Nebula's Planko Tips, Theme Maker's Toolkit Edition. This time I'm going to cover three types of materials to add detail and depth to your models, normal maps, ambient occlusion, and cavity maps. First, we'll talk about normal maps. The suffix for them in Planet Coaster is underscore NM. This is a normal map. It's a special kind of material where the colors tell the renderer, in this case Planet Coaster, how raised or lowered a section should appear. In other words, the surface of the model will look like it has a texture, and that texture will even react to lighting, but it isn't part of the model's mesh. How do you get a normal map? You wouldn't want to try to paint one in Photoshop, as the colors are quite specialized and it would be hard to get the effect you want. But there are several ways to download or generate them. If you're downloading textures from a website, sometimes they'll come with a normal map like this one from textures.com. Great, that makes it really easy. There are also various websites and programs that will allow you to generate a normal map. Here's a great resource. The link is also in the description. Start with a grayscale image where black areas are low points, white areas are peaks, and shades of gray are anywhere in between. You still have to create this grayscale image in some way, but digitally painting this kind of image, or using Photoshop filters to adapt it from your base texture, isn't too difficult. Drag and drop it into the first box. Adjust the settings until it looks good in the 3D preview, and then click the download button at the bottom of the page to save it. There are lots of options you can play with on this site, too. I like to turn the rotation off on the 3D preview to see it better. Left-click and drag to rotate the object, right-click and drag to move it, and use your mouse wheel to scroll. You can also show your map on different shapes, or even load in an OBJ file exported from a 3D program. Finally, you can create a high-resolution version of your model and use Blender to generate, or bake, a normal map for you. For example, for my unicorn, I wanted to imitate the classic spiral you often see on their horn. I created this high-resolution horn, but of course, at over 85,000 triangles, it's way too big to use in Planet Coaster. For this example, I made a copy of just the horn from my low-resolution model. It needs to be UV unwrapped for this to work. First, go into the UV Image Editor. Go to the Image menu and select New Image. Name the image something like Normal, and adjust the width and height if you need to. Click OK. Apply a material to the low-resolution model. The name of this material doesn't really matter as it's temporary. Next to Color, click the gray button on the right-hand side and choose Image Texture. Click the menu next to the Open button and select the name of the image you just created. Next, make sure your high-resolution model is positioned, overlapping the low-res model as closely as possible. Go to the Render tab in the right-hand menu and scroll all the way to the bottom, opening the drop-down that says Bake. Next to Bake Type, select Normal. Select the checkbox that says Selected to Active. Select the high-resolution model, then hold the Shift key to also select the low-resolution model. It helps to do this in the Outliner because they must be selected in this order. Both objects are selected, but the last one selected will be considered the active object, and that's important for the baking procedure to work properly. Then click Bake. Depending on your computer, this may take a little while. If you're getting a lot of solid chunks of bright green like this, it's not seeing all of the detail it needs to bake properly. Adjust the ray distance up a bit, here I set it to 0.5, and then click Bake again. There, that's what we want. When you're happy with your normal map, go to Image and click Save as Image to save it to your hard drive. With the normal map applied, you can see the texture on the unicorn's horn in-game. And when the rock texture's normal map is applied to our stone monkey, he takes on a lot more detail as well. Next, let's talk about ambient occlusion, which uses the suffix underscore AO. Ambient lighting is the general lighting in a rendered scene that doesn't come from a particular source. If you place an object in Planet Coaster in daytime, it's lit quite brightly from the side facing the sun, but the ambient lighting is what prevents the other side from being completely black. What ambient occlusion does is tell Planko where you want to reduce or eliminate the effects of ambient light. It's a grayscale map where white areas are affected normally and darker areas are in shadow. 
You might include an AO map on a model if it has lots of folds, crevices, or other details. You can paint an ambient occlusion map in Photoshop, textures sometimes come with them if you download them from a website, or you can generate them in Blender. To generate one, start the same way as you did with the normal map. Your object should be UV unwrapped, you've created a new image, and applied it to the object in a material. When you go to the bake settings this time, select ambient occlusion for the bake type. Then you can either bake it from the high resolution image like we did with the horn, or you can turn off selected to active and simply bake it from your base model. Note that this won't always have a big effect or might come out kind of weird as most low resolution models don't have enough detail for Blender to properly detect areas that need to be occluded. Here's what our monkey looks like before and after the ambient occlusion map is applied. The last material I want to touch on briefly is the cavity map, which uses the suffix underscore CA. Cavity has a similar purpose to ambient occlusion, but is more intense. Black areas of a cavity map allow no light to reflect off of them whatsoever, including direct lights. You can use this for deep cracks and holes, or if you just want a truly completely black object like the background of the star field. We could use a cavity map to give our monkey dead, empty eyes. Nah, I think we'll skip this map for him. Instead, let's make him colorful. I'll talk about flexi colors in the next tutorial. And that's it. Feel free to like or comment, and if you want random updates from my Planet Coaster exploits, subscribe! If you enjoy what I do and are interested in supporting the channel, check out my Patreon. In addition to helping me out, you can also get fun perks like sneak peeks, voting on future projects, or being the first to see new videos. A big thank you to my current patrons. That's all for now. Bye!